Well, it's Monday, uh, the 21st of August, and it's been an interesting Monday this morning. I, I don't know what in the heck is going on, but this is going to sound absolutely nuts. Trust me. So, uh, today, on my agenda of stuff I needed to get done, uh, it was my top priority, number one, was contacting my federal student loan, uh, the federal student loan people. So I could rearrange my, my loans and get some stuff straightened out with them, right? So I, I don't know if any of you guys have any student debt, but if you do, this experience might sound familiar. I had to kind of pump myself up to call them. I was prepared to bite my tongue, be patient, keep my cool, and not fly off the handle at the sheer incompetence, the condescension, the amount of time it takes to get somebody on the phone. You know how it normally goes. You know, it's a very similar experience to sorting things out with your internet provider if you have Comcast. Oh, nobody wants to deal with that, right? So here I am, all prepped. And I give them a call, and once we get through the automated stuff, it's about two minutes before an actual live person picks up the phone and just rattles off her, you know, employee ID and asks how they can help me. Like, two minutes. Do you understand how short an amount of time that is? I'm usually waiting on the phone for a good 30 minutes before you can get a, an actual person. So, I thought, well, okay, this is off to a good start. This is weird. Well, guess what? This lady, and I could tell just from, uh, you know, her speaking that she's an African-American lady, a black lady, most likely from the South, judging from the Southern accent. She was nice. I'm not kidding you. She was actually nice. And now on top of that, she was friendly, and this one's going to blow your mind. She was helpful. I mean, very helpful. In other words, she didn't give me a whole lot of convoluted gobbledygook talk that, you know, about my loans, which is normally my experience. Um, she didn't talk down to me, which is normally my experience. She didn't, uh, you know, she, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know there's an eclipse today, but man, this is weird. When the federal government starts treating you like a person, long story short, <laughs> I got my loans put into general forbearance. I had applied for it Friday, and I was going to follow up with a phone call today to make sure, did you get my application? Is it under review? I don't want to wait the full 10 business days before I get a response. Oh, no, sir. Your general forbearance has been granted, and you don't have to worry about a thing for an entire year. Not one red cent, no phone calls, no communication. I can just leave it alone and focus on other more important things, rather than my student loan debt, which is not really all that overwhelming. I mean, it is, it is a chunk of change, <laughs> don't get me wrong, uh, but it's doable. It's workable and doable, especially if I can get a job here real soon. So anyway, uh, I, I'm just left baffled. I, I don't understand what's going on. I don't think the eclipse has anything to do with it. And by the way, did you check it out? It's kind of cool. Not all that impressive, really, but hey, whatever. So, <clears throat> you guys tell me, have you ever had a, an experience like this where you actually were able to reach someone in a timely manner? They were courteous, professional, friendly, and helpful? I mean, you, you might get professional. You usually won't get courteous certainly not friendly and rarely helpful you know that's that's typically been my experience so this morning's call is just like what in the heck did I just wake up in another world or something anyway I ain't complaining about it I'm just I'm so I'm up I'm thrilled <laughs> I don't know what else to say it was just such a weird experience and to have it taken care of in one phone call that took me all of five minutes it was like, I was expecting to spend half of my morning dealing with this stuff. Instead, it was over in five minutes. Now I've got free time to go do other things, you know. Look for work is what I ought to be doing. Anyway, let me know if anybody has had a similar experience or if, you know, is the federal government just starting to get nice? Uh, are they starting to realize that overwhelming, crushing student debt is 
pissing people off and that many people like you know myself I was considering just blowing it off <laughs> like it just disappear you know I, I would be the one doing the disappearing so that they couldn't track me down and extract more money out of me I mean I, I've paid off close to three-fourths of the total original amount that I've borrowed but that was 25 years ago and over the years I've been trying to hammer away at it when I could within reason and it's still at about that original amount so in other words in all that time basically all I've been paying is the interest on it which is frustrating as all get out but for some reason, uh, things are starting to look up on this Monday. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are doing well. I'll come out with another video a little later on this afternoon. But for now, you rate, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you've had any kind of a, a similar experience or if, if I, I've just experienced an anomaly or something. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Peace out.